Uh, hey, this is another CGNMP tutorial, and this one isn't as much as a, sorry, I'm sick of it. This is, this isn't as much as a video making tutorial than it is as a just cool fact tutorial. And what you're going to use is GIMP, and if you don't have that already, you can just download it. Uh, link in the description. There's like a bunch of different le uh, versions. There's for Snow Leopard, Leopard, and uh, Tiger. So, yeah, so, uh, basically, once you have GIMP downloaded, you're going to want to take two pictures that are almost identical, except when you take the picture, you have to move it just barely, so as you see, like this. There's going to be one right picture and one left picture. Uh, this one, it's going to be weird, because the one that'd be facing you to the left, like this one, this would be the uh, right. And, so, yeah. So basically, first things first, you're going to want to open, it doesn't really matter which one, you can open the right one or the left one, but just make sure you're opening the right one. So, I put mine on the desktop, it's easier to find and stuff, so, yeah. So you're going to want to open it, and click assign, and then you're going to want to go to colors, and colorize. <coughs> Sorry, okay. And I already have mine uh, downloaded. Well, not downloaded, just saved. It's going to look like this. So basically, 233 on the hue, 100 on the saturation. The lightness just stays the same. And this is going to be for the blue and yellow lensed ones. But for, of course, like green and pink and everything, it's basically just the same thing. So, yeah. Once you do that, you're going to want to go File, Open as Layer. And you're going to want to open the left one. That would be technically on the right side. So yeah, then you're going to go to colors, colorize, and it's going to be yellow like this, and you're going to go lightness minus 12, hue 69, and saturation 95. Oh yeah, and as you can see, it doesn't look like anything. Oh yeah, by the way, it's going to take the color off the picture, but I promise you this will make it 3D if you're using the right glasses. What you're going to want to do is go to opacity on the side here or the layers and channel. I'm sure that if you don't have the window, just click on this, and then click on the layers, channels, paths, undo brushes, patterns, gradients, that stuff. Then you're going to want to put the opacity to about 50 to 55. And it looks really bad right now, but I, like the colors are kind of faded away. And we're probably going to do a tutorial in the future that won't have this. But either way, this is what we have now. And after you do this, you're going to want to go to... So you're going to want to go to Move Tools. And there, you're going to be able to move the picture around. See? And you're basically going to want to try to put it exactly on there. So see? And then, the shortcut to do this is just Command-Shift-4. You're going to get this. This is basically just a screen capture. So you're going to want to take the picture like that. Then you're going to get this. And that is actually the 3D picture. I know the color doesn't look as cool, but oh well. And it's basically the same thing for... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's the same thing for basically all the other colors. So you're just going to want to go colors, colorize, then say like... Yeah, there's like the pink one and the green one. And depending on the lenses, you're just going to have to look at which one's on the right and which one's on the left. So, yeah. This is another iMovie 09 tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the co comments. I promise you, we, we read like absolutely every single one of them. Because <coughs> we only get like two a day, but anyway. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.